In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of The Uncanny X-Men Omnibus Volume 4 by Chris Claremont, John Romita Jr., Al Milgram, Paul Smith, bunch of people, bunch of names. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them, all for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Now, if you like watching comic book content, reviews, overviews, unboxings, hauls, all that types of stuff, you should definitely hit the subscribe button, then hit that bell icon so that you're notified when I post new videos. Shout out to the K Squad and the Premiere Squad if you're watching. I see you. So, uh, in this video, I'm giving you an overview of that Uncanny X-Men Volume 4. It's finally here. It's been long awaited. I mean, not that long for me. I didn't even know about the Uncanny X-Men until like last year, right? But people have been wanting this book solicited, and it's finally here. I have been collecting all the omnibus leading up to it because they reprinted everything. So I got Uncanny Volume 1 featuring the giant size X-Men. We got Uncanny Volume 2 featuring the Dark Phoenix Saga and all that, right? We got Uncanny Volume 3 featuring God Loves, Man Kills, and so much other stuff. We got a New Mutants Omnibus. We got an Excalibur Omnibus. We got a Wolverine Omnibus reprint. And now we have Chris Claremont Volume 4. I love this DM cover by John Romita Jr., of course. Um. And I'm going to crack this open. And while I'm cracking it open, I'll talk to you a little bit about this book. So, like I said, I am newer to comics, if you guys aren't aware. And I know, oh, that's what I was going to say. So, obviously, this book was out this week. This book just came out Tuesday. Um, and if I could remember today's date, I would tell you what Tuesday's date was. Uh, where's my phone? All right, so this book came out Wednesday, the 17th, February 17th. Uh, this book came out, and you can get it in the direct market anyways. I think it'll be out in like two weeks on Amazon. So that's cool, but obviously there's like a huge snowstorm. So I'm actually going to put this video out on Friday, and Friday is the first day you'll be able to order this on in stock trades at 3 p.m eastern time and uh when i tell you you're gonna want to be on that website like 20 minutes early because people have been waiting to order their books for ages oh man my dust jacket came damaged we'll talk about it later it's not a big deal um but yeah people are going to be trying to get that book so i'll put a link to in stock trades in the description of this video uh have at it have fun try i mean good luck godspeed i pre-ordered this one from my lcs my local comic shop ultimate comics in raleigh because i knew this was going to be a cluster this was going to be the most ridiculous release of the year in my opinion so i pre-ordered it so i wouldn't have to go through all the crazy people online um but you know pre-ordering at full retail from your lcs is a whole lot different from paying 60 percent of the retail price on one of the discount websites so can't knock the hustle that's what jay-z said but anyway without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and switch up the camera view and let's look at the artwork on this issue all right folks so here we are looking at the uncanny x-men volume four um and this is the cover to uncanny x-men number 193 uh, or i guess just x-men uh special double size issue this is a cool john ramita jr direct market variant now you know what's funny is obviously i'm newer to comics and so a lot of my experience with john ramita jr is his most recent stuff he's done stuff on batman he had the superman uh year one series with frank miller and when i tell you i cannot stand john ramita jr pencils in 2021 i it, it really bothers me to the point where if i see his name on a book i won't buy it but this stuff looks cool. This stuff looks fine. So hopefully this this omnibus doesn't disappoint me. 
Um, but yeah, I need to stretch the spine out a little bit. So while I'm doing that, we can talk about what it collects. So let's see. This book collects the Uncanny X-Men 176 to 193, X-Men Annual 8, Kitty Pride and Wolverine 1 through 6, X-Men and Alpha Flight 1 and 2, uh, and Marvel Fanfare number 40. All books that I have not read in the slightest at all uh, that I'll be you know experiencing for the first time. So like I said, you guys already know, I'm doing... An X Men read through. Like, I loved X Men, like, in other media. And, you know, I was introduced to them by the animated series and then the movies in the 2000s um, and beyond, right? Uh, and so I love the X Men. My favorite is Wolverine, of course, followed by Storm, followed by Nightcrawler, um, followed by three other people, and then probably Cyclops. Uh, <laughs> so I really like the X Men. But I've not been exposed to them in their greatest form uh, up until, you know, about a year ago, right? When House of X came out. And House of X was actually my first comic series that I purchased at the comic shop week after week. Um, and so that got me hooked on X-Men. I've been doing, reading all the Dawn of X stuff. And, you know, I've been an X-Men fan since I read House of X. But I was like, I want to read, like, the stuff all this comes from. Like, where does, it, where does everybody's everybody else's love of the X-Men. Where does that come from? And everyone said, you got to read Chris Claremont. And I'm like, all right, cool. So when they started reprinting these Omnibus, the Chris Claremont um, Omnibus, starting with Uncanny Volume 1, when they started reprinting those last year, I grabbed it, and then I grabbed Volume 2, uh, and then I grabbed Volume 3, and you guys, you saw on the channel just how much of a hassle it was for me to get both volumes two and volume three with just all the increased demand after COVID and everything like that. These books are harder and harder to get your hands on, even when they're reprinted. The books will be in stock on the all the discount websites for like two or three days. And then that's it. They're gone forever or at least until another restock comes. So anyway, I've been getting these from like a combination of uh, my local comic shop and online websites. This one came from Ultimate Comics Raleigh. Um, I love Ultimate Comics. I specifically love the Raleigh store. The staff takes great care of me. Dan is my homie. I consider him a friend. He puts me on to all the great comic stories. He is a wealth of knowledge. So if you need to find books, right? If you need a, an online pull list set up somewhere, they will do that for you. Um, so shout out to Ultimate Comics Raleigh. Give them a call. Tell them I sent you. you can tell them BJ Kick sent you. And um, he'll get you squared away. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, Dan is a huge X-Men fan. Um, and he knows all this stuff. And I'm like, I want to know what Dan knows. So I'm going to be doing an X-Men read through this year. Starting, I'm going to start in June, most likely. And I'm going to spend basically... The entire back half of 2021 reading X-Men from giant size X-Men number one all the way through the second Chris Claremont and Jim Lee omnibus. Um, and I mean, I know that they've got uh, Inferno coming out before that. And then they've got the Age of, Apop uh, Age of Apocalypse is getting an omnibus reprint. So I'm getting all those. And every X-Men omnibus that comes out this year, I plan to read back to back to back to back so that by 2022, I'll be an expert. <laughs> oh, wait, I got a page stuck together. What? Oh, nah, man, this is that is not cool. I don't even know if you can see that, but. My book, it's got a hole in it and a bunch of pages stuck together. <sighs> yeah, that's not going to fly. I wonder if I can get a, a replacement because this book is damaged. Wow. Well, at least I'm doing this on camera so everybody can see it. I literally just took this out of the wrapper. Wow. So those four 
five. Yeah. These six pages of my omnibus are damaged. That really sucks. I guess worst case scenario, I might buy it on Amazon and trade out the dust jacket. Wow. All right. Well, anyway, that's really going to color the way this video turns out. But um, the artwork seems cool. Um, it's cool. I'm upset. <laughs> I am upset because I just told you guys how these books tend to sell out. Um, and now. <sighs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. So it's like I'll be online and in stock trades this morning or this afternoon, too. So shout out to you guys. And I'll just I'll just go for the standard. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. What I'm gonna do. That really sucks. That just ca this came from the printer like that and they didn't even check it like. This a hole through all the page like. Bro. So unacceptable. Look at that. That's my finger. Ah, uh, such a fail. And that's going to be the thumbnail for this one. Freaking fail. You go through great lengths like I do. Pay full retail for a book just to make sure you have it. And then you get it. And there's holes in the pages straight from the factory. Ah, uh, well, you win some, you lose some. That's a cool penciled page. I like that. Win some, you lose some. I lost some. Here's some extras. There's a cool storm pinup by Rick Leonardi. Here's an X-Men pinup by Terry Austin. Uh, more stuff. More Wolverine stuff. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, X-Men Alpha Flight. Uh, I get it. I get it. Stuff looks cool. But what can I do with this book with those pages like that? And my dust jacket got messed up too. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be ordering this one just like everybody else tomorrow, and we'll see if I get through. But anyway, hope you saw something you liked in this video. And if not, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Make sure you read what you buy. And uh be nice to others, even when they don't send you nice books. Cause kindness makes the world go round. Peace.